What did you do when you sang on a tune? I know I can't sing at all. So what and the why? With Kai, it's Wednesday. And today, again, it comes from, man, we're getting so much love. Keep it coming, you guys. Ask me anything about lift, low impact, functional training. Ask me anything about performance training. Ask me anything about increasing and evolving your current method if you do machine-based training into something more, into something that's more efficient, more effective, and more explosive. Because that's what lift's all about. So today's question is about this move called the jackhammer. No, it's not that. Try it. It's really fun. Try it. Okay, anyways, we call it the jackhammer. And that's the what today. And it's a variation, uh, something you would do after you do the jackknife. Oh, what's a jackknife? Again, you'll have to get lift certified to find out. But the point of the jackhammer is to increase upper body strength by using isometric contractions. So we're actually holding our body weight up in the air, using our triceps, shoulders, lats, and a little bit of the rhomboids, stabilizing the scapula. Again, we go do a deep dive in the anatomy and the skeletal system in the lift cert as well. And then it's about your hip flexors. <gasps> what? Kai, you work the hip flexors? Uh, well, yeah. Why? Because what are you doing all day? You're compressing. You're contracting your hip flexors all day sitting. So when you come to my class, right, or if you come to a lift certified coach's class, we understand the importance and take a deep dive into the hip flexor area, into the TFL area, making sure that your hips are open. So yes, it is a movement to actually open and strengthen your hip flexors while also, of course, if you work the hip flexors, what are you working? Your transverse, your lower abs as well. So it's a lower abdominal movement, it is a movement to get more mobility and flexibility in your hip flexors. If your hip flexors have more mobility and flexibility, what happens to the output in the legs? They go up. What happens to the strength in your core? It goes up. And it's an upper body isometric hold or strengthening movement in the upper body. So it's really a full body movement with a primary focus on the hip flexors and lower abs. How do you do the jackhammer? <laughs> well, you have to get lift certified to find out. DM me, join us, join the whole crew all over the world in the group fitness academy, and let's change the world one body at a time.